Don and I are on the Celebrity Beyond cruise ship on a six night Caribbean cruise. And this week we are staying in a deluxe porthole veranda. We've never stayed in one before and we're super excited to share it with you. So let's take a tour. Here we go. Hello everybody, Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. We are on deck eight and we are in cabin 8108. And I just want to show you the location. We're almost at the end. We are a couple cabins from the end of the, the, I should say from the front of the ship. So we're all the way forward. And this is our first time staying in one of these. Let's take a look inside. When you first walk in, there is the bathroom door on your left. There's a little sign that lets you know to be careful, step up. And the bathroom looks exactly the same as it does in all the other cabins that are not in suite categories. Inside cabin, ocean view, Veranda, concierge, aqua, they all look the same in their layout. Got a nice long counter, big sink. On each side of the sink, you have three shelves. And on the other side, underneath, you have some nice storage spots. This is your outlet for the bathroom. You need to make sure that this button is on and the green light is lit and the main light in the bathroom is on for the outlet to work. So we have some storage here, long shelf on the bottom. That's where your stateroom attendant will put your towels. There's your trash can, some additional toilet tissue, another spot for storage. Over here, they give you bar soap, your washcloths, some body lotion to use while you're on board, a box of tissues, underneath the sink, full-size drawer with two compartments, there's your blow dryer, and more space for your own personal things. Behind us is the shower. The shower is the same as I said, in all the other cabins, with the exception of Aqua. Aqua has a different shower function. This one is the same as the inside verandas, all the others, has a slide piece, so you can adjust the height. This is quite tall. I would say it would suit somebody probably six, five or so. And it's super simple to work two knobs, one is for the temperature, one is on off. You have a little basket there for your own items. Shampoo, conditioner, and body wash or shower gel. Your stateroom attendant will replenish those as needed. A little handle for you to hold on to. A bar for shaving. Two hooks inside for hanging wet items. It's nice, it's got a nice little bubble out, so it's a nice size shower. It's a great design in my opinion. Your commode, of course, and your hand towels. Back out into the cabin, just right past the door to the right of the bathroom door is your room control panel. This is your thermostat and also controls your lights. There's a little setting wheel up at the top. You can change the language and the Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can also do go green, which is something that you can set up with your stateroom attendant. You can do it before you get on. And I'm actually going to do a whole video on the go green process and earning points. Because I set it to on, the lights went off as an energy saving mode because I don't think it detects that I'm in here. So let's turn it off and the lights would come back on. Let's go back to the main screen. You have three settings, all off, half on, and all on. 
You also have four different lighting settings that are kind of mood settings and, and they all have a different adjustment for the lights. Just below that, two switches. This one is for the bathroom and this one is for the ceiling lights in your cabin. Just past that is your closet or storage space. They not look like it, but they all open up. This is where I store my shoes and sometimes some folded clothes if I have extra and I need to, but everything opens up. So that's a big shelf up there, two smaller cubbies here. It's a canvas bag that everybody gets and it's yours to keep and a laundry bag if you need to do laundry, give it to your stateroom attendant. And then we have four shelves below. Lots of storage space here. I really like this design. It's my favorite design for the storage space of any of the cruise ships. Uh, the Edge class ships all have this. Just past that, going around the bend, is your actual full wardrobe closet. And because we were on a back-to-back, -back, they came and hung our clothes for us. So these, our stateroom attendant moved us from one cabin to the other. So they hung up all of our clothes. You can see there's plenty of space. John and I will take those robes out and hang them on hooks on the wall. And you have some floor space. And there's your safe. It's not very big, but does the trick. Three nice size drawers here in the closet with the soft clothes. That's where I put all of my stuff and John and I share the closet. So there's plenty of space. Inside the other closet door is a full length mirror for you to check your look before you go out. And just opposite the closet is the dresser. So you have three additional drawers. The top one is a little bit more narrow or a little bit more shallow, I should say. This one's about four inches deep with two compartments and the bottom two are about six inches deep. Also with the soft clothes. Next to that, the white section is the refrigerator and it is just your standard refrigerator. And we have some items inside here that they will empty for you if you'd like to use the refrigerator yourself. Those items all come with a charge. That's their mini bar. So if you drink anything that's in there, just know that you'll be paying a hefty price for it. So I guard against it. On top, we have the, a lamp with a push button. You have your tray with two drinking glasses and two bottles of water. Those are not complimentary. You will be charged for those as well. You can ask your stateroom attendant to move, remove those as well. This is your electrical box. You have one, two, 20, two, one tens and two USB ports and slots for the wires to come through. A full lighted mirror here at the desk or vanity, however you choose to use it. Next to that is a big white button that turns that light on and off. The desk, awesome desk chair with a back on it, by the way, nice and comfortable. The desk recesses in, super easy to do. If you'd like to utilize this space for something else, that just goes in that way, real easy. And if you wanna use it as a desk or a vanity, you can pull it out all the way and it's a nice size surface. Next to that, we have the trash can. Opposite the vanity and dresser, we have a Chase love seat have a couple decorative pillows. It's very comfortable. I like to sit here and look out the window while I'm doing some computer work. Then we have the bed. Awesome beds on Celebrity. I've never had a bad night's sleep in a Celebrity bed. They're nice and comfortable. You can ask your stateroom attendant for a different type of pillow if you don't like the ones that are on there. They have a firm, a feather, and a foam. So those are your three choices. Next to the side of the bed, we have a nightstand, three shelves, of course your telephone, your remote for your TV, and a push button lamp. And you basically have the same on the other side. 
And additionally, on this side, we have an outlet, a button to control the lights for the ceiling, and two USB ports, push button lamp, just like on the other side. And at the end of the bed, you have your TV. Over here, there's a light switch. That is for your balcony. And speaking of the balcony, last but not least, those are nice room darkening curtains. And they have a nice little cover over the top, so they really do a good job in, in blacking out the light. This is a deluxe porthole veranda. What that means is, is we have an actual balcony. When your veranda is shut, the door is shut, this is an extra lock. Slide that to green, turn the handle down, and we have an actual balcony, unlike most of the other cabins on the ship that have the uh, infinite verandas, this is an actual balcony. The difference is, instead of it being fully cut out, it's a porthole. So it's a big window still, and it's not very big, but enough space for you to sit out here and enjoy the balcony if that's your thing. You can have some coffee or a cocktail out here. It's enough space, in my opinion. So there you have it, an actual balcony in a veranda room. That, my friends, is the full tour of the deluxe Ocean View Veranda on the Celebrity Beyond. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your support. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It lets us know what you like. And if you haven't done so already, like this video and you'd like to see more, hit subscribe below this video with the notification bell on. That will let you know of any new videos that we post. Again, thank you so much for your support. We appreciate you. And as always, we hope you have a wonderful day.